I just found a nifty tool called as LLM Scraper, which you can use locally with local models for free on Windows or Linux in order to scrape the websites or any web page and generate the data out of that website in a structured JSON format. JSON format is very handy, especially when it comes to any of the AI powered applications. The reason why it is so handy is because JSON format can be easily converted to JSON L format, which is a default or should I say de facto format for the data sets. Plus you can consume JSON with almost any of the API out there. So if you're looking to integrate your data generated by LLM scrapper with an existing LLM, or if you want to just throw it into any vector database, or you want to just pass it on to any function or tool, you can simply do that with LLM scraper. This is why I think that this is one of the good tools out there. If you're looking to extract data from any web page, any website out there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it locally installed. And then we will also see how you can generate that data. Before I do that, let me give you a very quick overview. So this tool LLM scraper can turn any web page into structured data using large language models. Under the hood, it uses function calling to convert pages to structured data. If you don't know what function calling is, just search on my channel with this keyword function calling and you should be able to see as what exactly is meant by function calling. Now, there are a lot of good features with this tool. For example, it supports local models that that is what we are going to use and it supports a quantized versions. So the GGUF format, you can even use OpenAI, but you would need of course for that OpenAI's paid account, which you can get from platform.openai.com. Or if you have Grok API, you can even use the Grok model with it. It also supports the schemas defined with Zod, Z-O-D. Zod is a schema validation library. Then it also supports Playwright. Playwright is a browser automation framework because when you access any web page, primarily it uses Chromium or Chrome and Playwright is the tool which does that. It also offer full type safety with TypeScript. And as I mentioned, the framework behind the scene is Playwright. It can also support streaming when crawling multiple pages. Also, it supports four input modes. HTML, Markdown, text and image. Okay, so enough theory. Let me take you to my PowerShell where we will be installing it. So just open your PowerShell on your local system. Make sure that you have Node.js installed. So just do Node-V and you can see that I have Node 20.13.0 and make sure that you have NPM installed. If you don't have that installed, you can simply search it by simply doing maybe installed node on Windows. And then you will see that this is a website. You can simply click on download node.js and then click on next, next, next. And it is going to install the node.js plus NPM on your system. And if you face any issues with NPM, I just did a video today, two minute video, which you can see if you are facing issues with NPM on Windows. Okay, so that out of the way, Let's go to our PowerShell and you can see this is my PowerShell. So here I'm just going to install Zod, Playwright uh, and LLM Scraper. So let's wait for it to get installed. Okay, so 25 packages are looking for funded and then totally it has added 193 packages. I think they are already installed. So you might see added 192 or 193 packages. So which is the same thing. So that is done. Now in the next step, you would need a local model. For that, you can go to Hugging Face website. Let me take you there. So simply type huggingface.co. Let me make it a bit bigger. It's already a bit bigger anyway. Just search for any model like Llama 38 billion. And then you can just say Llama-3. And then there should be some GGUF format. So if you just go here and then 
you can see some of the quantized version just download any model of your choice and for downloading for example if i go here i maybe i just click on let's see llama 3 i'll just i'm just looking for any gguf format if i could but anyway to save time let's go here so whatever model you want to download just go there click on files so it is a data set it is not a model My apologies let me go to model again i'm just going to go with this llama 3 8 billion then scroll down and then click on files just click on with the files option simply click on any gguf format once you will click on it then from here you can click on this download and download that file i already have downloaded this meta llama 3 8 billion instruct q4 km.gguf so just search on your um just search it by this on hugging face and you should be able to download it and i have already placed it in the same folder where i am running this powershell and my the future script which i will show you shortly so now we have all the prerequisites installed we have our model downloaded and now let me um, take you to the code which we will be running in order to scrape a website with the help of this local model so let me open my vs code so this is my vs code on my local windows system v vs code is a visual studio code editor you can use any code editor of your choice so now we are importing the libraries which we have just installed and then i am just launching the chromium browser it is doing the async function and then this is a model which is present in the same path where this file is and the extension of this file is mgs and then i'm instantiating this llm with this model and then i am just using the scraper with this browser and llm which we have just done and then i'm defining the sch schema with the zod with, which is a validation library and then i'm just giving it a url to y combinator you can use any url of your choice and then i am just running the scraper on this and the prompt which i am using is top five stories on hacker news and then it is going to return me the result so let me run this so i'm just going to say note and then file name is llm parser dot mjs and then let me press enter it is running let's wait for it to come back it has come back it is fairly quick because it is running locally let me make this bit bigger and then we will see what happens so look at this it is all json format it has gone to hacker news and then it has produced this gem from there you see that how cool it looks and this is the script which we were running node llm parser.mjs and it has produced this json format output in a very very fine way this can be consumed by any api out there or any llm or you could you could just feed it to any function or tool calling facility of any llm so you can see that how easy it is to convert any website or web page into a structured data by using this LLM parser. Now, if you want to use OpenAI instead of local LLM, you can also do that. Let me also show you that code. So first again, you would need to install what I have just show, shown you. And then once that's done, you can simply export OpenAI's API key and you would need to get it from platform.openai.com then simply import what we did with local llm and then launch the chromium and inst instead of local llm we are just instantiating openai and then we are defining our schema and then again the same url and instead of local llm we are giving it gpt4 turbo and then we are waiting it and printing out the response so this is how easy it is to scraping any website with the help of this llm scraper really amazing tool and i'm very very impressed by tool i think one of the best tools i have seen uh, in a while to be honest let me know what do you think if um, you have any issues or if you get stuck somewhere let me know happy to help out i will drop the link to this repo in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.